Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today we're talking about our guardian dog puppies. <clears throat> we just got these six. Uh, these are weaned, and uh, the little guys are in this uh, cage. It's a uh, 10 by 10, and uh, it's basically cattle panels backed up with chicken wire. The whole thing's made on runners, and it's got a handle up here that we hook on our foil and just drag it. Keep it close to our sheep. Um, the sheep are behind us. They can actually come up here. Um, there they are. They're out. We're actually starting to lamb. And here's the older dog coming up. He's checking them out. When we first brought these puppies in here, the old dogs are really barking at them quite viciously. And uh, if you just turn those puppies loose right with the dogs, um, you're going to have a wreck. Uh, the old dogs will come up and intimidate them. And your puppy is going to be running off in the brush. And you may never see them again. So keep them in a cage like this for about, oh, five to seven, maybe ten days. And they learn how to eat out of that feeder over there. I actually, um, you can see that's a gravity flow feeder. And it's got a brick in it, holding it open so they learn kind of what's in there. And they actually have some good puppy chow in there. And then they've got their water. Uh, it's hung up on a wire there so they can't tip it over. And uh, these puppies are the cross that we love. This is the uh, one half Merima, quarter Anatolian Shepherd, and a quarter Pyrenees. It's extremely important, folks, to get your puppies from people that are raising them with sheep or goats. Don't go to get them from a pet store. They're probably not going to make very good guardian dogs. They don't have working parents. You can't expect them to know or have any genetics to do that. Um, these puppies here, from the t they were actually born out in the pasture with the sheep in a brush pile. And at four weeks of age, they're weaned. Uh, they got their teeth now. They're eating. And uh, I'll tell you this about puppies, folks. If you're going to try and ever raise anything like this, you've got to give them their parvo shots. I'm not big on giving lots of shots to anything, but I learned the hard way on puppies. If you don't give them their three rounds of parvo, and you've got them out here in this grass and this and soil and different things, there's parvo in the soil, and it will kill your puppies. Three sets, three weeks apart, and they're done. You don't ever have to give them another shot after that, but... Please don't don't neglect your parvo shots. You're gonna have some dead puppies, and they're just too cute. They're just wonderful little dogs, and just you deserve. They deserve the right to live, and by God, give them their parvo. Um, this is uh, probably gonna be uh, I don't know, probably another week or so of this, and then we're gonna be turning them out with the bigger dogs. I just saw the old dog over laying next to him, so he's not barking anymore. And uh, they're, these, these pups are going to be good to go here in just a little bit. And they don't have to spend very much more time in here. But again, if you don't put them in here, by God, they'll be gone. And uh, you'll be searching high and low to try and find these little guys. This is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day.